Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Yay! Hello! Welcome to my tiny boat. My philosophy when cooking in a small space is to not get too fussy about having every single ingredient you could possibly imagine and getting really good at substitutions instead. So I love recipes that are flexible, that can be really changed according to your tastes that aren't too fussy. And that is exactly what soup is. The other thing I love about small living in general is it generally affords you time. Time to do things beautifully and well, to make something taste really good, to enjoy the process. And so not only are we making soup, we're making broth. A splash of oil, not too much. My broth today begins with chicken. If you're a vegetarian, your broth shouldn't begin with chicken. You should skip straight ahead and use a little bit more oil. Now, you might notice that I have not preheated the pan. There is a reason for that. And the reason is that when I cook skin on chicken, I always start it in a cold pan. Kind of like when you cook bacon, you start it in a cold pan and it allows the oils in the skin to render. And that's what we really want. That's the whole point of this step, to get some nice chicken fat, which we're going to use in the next step of this whole process. So don't have the heat too high, medium heat. It will be so delicious. Now for my favorite part of making broth, which is to prepare the alliums. I love doing this because it's so easy. All you do is you just sort of take off maybe the most papery outer layer of your onions, your shallots, your garlic, and you can use whatever you've got. If you've got red onions, use those. If you've got jumbo onions, use those, I guess. If you've got just only shallots, that's fine. Get rid of the sort of outery paper layer, but there's still some skin on there, and that's okay. We're gonna leave the skin on. And watch this, watch how I prepare the alliums. I take a little bit off the top, and then I cut them right through the middle and they're done. That's all, they go into the broth like that. I don't know why I find this so satisfying. Like you just don't have to go about chopping them. This is fine. The leeks are soaking. I don't always use the leeks, but I have leeks right now, so I'll use them. And this is very fun. I learned this from, who did I learn it from? Alison Roman, I think, a chef from New York. She uses the greens of her leeks in broth. I think this is genius because I always threw these away and I love learning about ways to use things that before I didn't know how to use. Soaking them in a bit of water will help release all their dirts. Just let them sit for a moment. The dirts will sink to the bottom. Give them a good scrubbing, flip through them with your fingers, and then strain them and you'll be all right. And now we come to the parsnips. Now parsnips are the one thing that I really think you should have. Parsnips, to me, are magical. Sweet and strong and it's just beautiful. So, parsnip. We pass on the street now I know that some of you will gasp in horror at the idea of boxed wine. Ah! Oh my goodness! But let me <laughs> let me defend myself. I like boxed wine because it keeps when you open it, and I don't like the pressure of having to 
finish a bottle, when you open a bottle of wine, I like to have one glass of wine one day, and then the next day, no glass of wine, and the day after that, maybe one more glass of wine. And so the bottle format, it doesn't work for me. This is very upset. You can disagree if you want to, though. I know many will. A bottle is absolutely more beautiful. Amore. The chicken is bubbling away happily. I think it might be time to have a look at it. Now, the goal here is not to cook the chicken through. All we want to do is render a bit of the fat from that skin, and I think that's already happened. So, I will put this into a bowl, keeping in mind it is raw chicken, so using all the safe handling procedures with that entails. Wow, the amount of oil in this pot has like tripled, and that's exactly what we want. Now we shall take our garlic and our onions and just place them face side down in all of that beautiful rendered chicken fat. So the alliums are getting nice and toasty. Oh, maybe even too toasty. find this so immensely satisfying. You know, there's something I think about boat life having a small kitchen, having small things, having to be very careful with the things you have on board even, what pots you bring with you. I think that feeling of minimalism really makes me appreciate feelings of abundance and maximalism. And this really gives me a feeling, I guess, of abundance, of like this big pot filled with big things and it's going to turn into something beautiful and it's going to meld together. Uh, okay, but secret ingredient. Let's get to that before I forget again. Prunes. I learned this from Molly Baz, an amazing chef. I love watching her. When you add some prunes to a broth, it just gives it depth and complexity and it's so great. I don't know, I'll add like four or five, something like that. And now, we wait. This guy will bubble away for an hour or two until all the veggies have given everything they've got to our beautiful broth. Meanwhile, we will have some snacks, drink some wine, read a book, relax. It's cleared up, it's sunny now, so I guess we can enjoy that. Time has passed. I believe our broth is getting to a point where we could call it done. Honestly, broth can go on forever, but I'm getting hungry, so I say it's about time it's done. It's looking good. I mean, the thing that you want to look for is if your vegetables have lost every ounce of strength they had in them, you want them to have given it all to the broth. These leeks are looking pretty done with life. And that means we've arrived. A great vegetable killer. Who knew broth is such a difficult and violent activity? Anyway, we are going to take everything out of the broth. Now you could do this just by dumping it all into a strainer, but the thing is is that then you would need a, another pot or bowl to catch all the beautiful liquid that you have to save. I don't feel like cleaning another pot or another bowl, so I'm going to use my spaghetti spoon and I'm going to slowly and meditatively pick out everything in my broth. Now the chicken we're going to save and we're going to reuse. Mm, it smells so good.
We have this beautiful broth now. Look at the color. It is perfect. It is perfection. And now we get to decide what kind of soup we're going to make. You can go in any direction. You now have broth. From here, any soup can be built. I kind of feel like making an Asian inspired soup today because I have some of those ingredients. Now I will, of course, reuse the white parts or reuse, use for the first time, the white parts of the leek. And then I'll fill them with water again and rinse out any dirt. And the other parsnips, I love having a little bite of parsnip in my soup. I'm gonna pay some attention to the broth again. I said it could use a little more salt, but instead of salt, I think I'll do um, soy sauce. That will give it saltiness, but it will also give it some of that flavor that I'm trying to go for. That I have these mushrooms, these beautiful mushrooms. And I think it's time for me to throw in some noodles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Definitely very rich in flavors. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Yay! Enjoy! You too.